Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you have a great and wonderful day, and I will try to be posting more videos today. On top of that, uh, I will also be trying to uh, maybe spout out some more light when it gets dark, because it gets really dark here around 4.30, and then pitch black around 5, 5.30, and uh, posting videos any later than I have has been kind of a difficulty, so I am going to try to find a way to fix that problem. And I am going to find a way to uh, get on earlier so I can probably get videos earlier. So, all that in due process. Right now, we're going to talk about uh, transgender people. Because apparently, they are still injuring women. I know, I know, I know. It's shocking, really. Except it's in more in a, st in more in a stance of sports. And those um, women seem to be taking a huge problem. But they're suing. We have this here. Transgender woman footballer quits and threatens to sue for discrimination because rivals refused to compete against her after she compete against her after she left opponents terrified and broke knee of a player blocking her shot. A transgender woman is a uh, woman footballer who, whose physical power on the pitch uh, left opponents terrified is getting taken legal action for discrimination as her opposing teams refuse to play against her. Uh, well, this is going to be against him. So that's what we're going to be using for now on. The boycott is said to have followed a player suffering a broken knee when blocking a shot from the, from the trans player uh, Francesca Needham, 30. When the word spread about the incident, some players refused to play against Needham for safety reasons, and two matches in the Sheffield and Hampshire Women's League were called off. Now Needham has announced he is he is to step down from playing football for the foreseeable future for the sake of, of of his club, Rosingen Man Ladies, which is based in a former pit village near Doncaster, uh, York, South Yorkshire. But far from backing down, the player is starting to sue as he said he has abided by football association policies on transgender players. Commenting on his club's Facebook site, he said that his side will have face, face challenges from teams unwilling to play against us while I'm on the field. This unfortunate circumstances has prompted me to investigate pursuing a case of discrimination, as I believe it represents a breach of code of conduct regarding diversity and inclusion, as well as a safeguarding of adults in football established by, fo by both the Football Association and the Sheffield and Hampshire Women and Girls League. He said he, she, he was attending, standing down uh, in the best interest of club, club and teammates, stating it's disheartening to acknowledge that the situation contradicts everything in the diversity and inclusion policies, given that I have digitally met every single requirement set up by a football association to play. No, here's the thing. This is not a female. This is a man. This is a man. Look at the size compared to the other females. This is not a female by any stretch of the imagination. And consider that you end up breaking somebody's knee and they are terrified because of how much more power that you have and you're trying to use your actual gender, your biological status to infiltrate and injure other women and to get free money because you are a psychopath. Um, is that working? They don't want to associate with you. They don't want to, they don't want to go against you. They don't want to do anything against you because you're a male and you're trying to pose as a female to try to get free points and free publicity. That's your only reasoning here. Uh, he goes on to say, I, and he added, I especially hope that this issue of perceived discrimination against me can be resolved peacefully and promptly. It won't be, and I hope they don't receive, go uh, easily either. Needham had, had received a full backing from his club with the ladies team secretary posting messages in unity. We defeat discrimination. The trans player has only played two matches this season, both in October after apparently being given clearance by the FA. In the first given game, the bonus manager who asked not to be named realized five minutes into the game that, that he was transgender. So this is from um, uh, Rosington with my lady supporters. Subject, important announcement regarding my role at Rosington Bank Ladies FC. Dear club, league, and all football association officials, it is with a mix of disappointment and resolve that I find myself having to address a recent development impacting myself and my team. As some of you may have heard, Rosington Bank Ladies FC has faced challenges from teams unwilling to play against us while I'm on the field. This unfortunate circumstance has prompted me to investigate pursuing a case of discrimination as I believe it represents a breach of the code of conduct regarding diversity and inclusion as well as safeguarding of adults in football is established by both the Football Association and Sheffield, Sheffield and Hampshire Women and Girls League. The four in the best interest of my club and in support of teammates who stand beside me, I have made the decision to step down from playing football for the foreseeable future. 
This is decision is rooted in the desire to safeguard the team and flood close trajectory. It's disheartening to acknowledge that the situation contradicts everything in the diversity, blah, 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 and, you know, so forth, so forth. Yeah. Um, that's not the case. You are a man, and you're trying to pose as a woman so that way you can get free points and all that great stuff. So we're not going to stand for it, and I'm glad that ladies are standing up against your obvious misogyny. And I hate using that word, by the way. I despise using that word because it's such a horrible and grotesque word that most men are not that are not like this. But of course, we have to use it for this particular individual because that's exactly what he's doing. And I am really sick and tired of the Daily Mail using calling him a she. Why don't you get some balls and call it a him for the first time in your goddamn lives? It was obvious the manager said, unfortunately, the FA allowed it to happen, but didn't allow anyone. He He's quite a big, strong player. People have refused to play because they were worried about the safety of the players. My parents are backing out of challenges as psychologically it's quite a big thing. When you are playing against a biological man, it's quite scary. They were terrified. Yes, because biological men are way stronger than women. This is just normal. I don't see how this is, a, how this is up for debate in modern day. But of course, we have lunatics that want to say otherwise. Needham has scored two goals in two games as, as he has has played in. But last month, an opponent who has asked not to be identified suffered a serious knee injury when he when she said she was said to have blocked a shot from Needham. There was no foul play or intent to injure, said the player's manager. Of course not. Maybe not. But that's beside the point. The fact is that you're way stronger than them, and you can what you do basic by minimal effort is immense effort from them, and it can cause serious injury. Women have... A, has a body structure that has more prone to injury when it comes against men. This is just not a surprising factor here. Lodging a fundraising site to help her, a teammate com commented that she is facing serious consequences of unfortunate gray area in women's football, which is going to be extremely detrimental to his work and personal life. Uh, Resident President, main president Gerald refused to comment on the controversy apart from stating that their opponents couldn't raise a team in recent weeks. Needham has been unavailable for comment. The manager of one of the teams to refuse to play explained the boycott. I had 16 and 17 year old players playing for me and their parents weren't too keen to put their welfare at risk. He said it was a welfare rich issue from the club's perspective rather than a transgender issue. Yes. Which all leads on to a transgender issue because, again, you are trying to pit a biological male against biological females. Again, it's almost, it's like I'm repeating myself, but there's not much to say because we all know this is lunacy. Honestly. FA policy is for transgender players over 16 to be approved on a case-by-case -case basis. A decision will regard the safety of the applicant and fellow players and the need to ensure fair play and fair play and fair competition. It says there will be a presumption of approval if the player satisfies his hormone-based requirements. That's not going to change anything. Blood testosterone levels must be within a specified range and hormone treatment will be verified annually. All applications will be handled by the FA's equality manager. Fiona and McKinney are a fair play for women said footballers are separated by sex for very good reasons. Yes. If you put one male on the pitch, they are faster, they are stronger. It is patently unfair, and as a contact sport like football, it's unsafe. These women didn't choose mixed football. They chose women's football. It's not because their player is trans, it's because they are male. Exactly. She said it doesn't matter whether the player has fully transitioned or not, or not as sports. Council Gunner says it's not possible to reverse the effects of male puberty. There's another thing as well. It is the fact that they are trans. Full stop. And this is not me going left or whatever. It's because it is has to do with their trans. Because trans people are saying that they're the opposite gender of what they are. And they don't want to deal with that person that is the, their biological gender. Because the whole thing about being trans is being the opposite part of being of the gender that you are. And since they don't want to play against this individual because they're a biological male... It goes to show that, it, yeah, it, <laughs> even though they're showing that they're trans, and they're saying they're trans, they're not per, they're not the real gender they would want to be. So, uh, again, uh, the reality is sinking in. People, women are fighting back. Good on you, ladies. Keep up the good work and make sure that we make a statement, a stronger statement, and you women are, and good on you, to fight back against this lunacy because it's getting out of hand. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Cause this algorithmic disease, the social media.